533 nearly two decades ago, the chicken pox vaccine became mainstream and for the most part widely accepted. This week, there has been a renewed debate, including input from the governor about the vaccination that is sounding the alarm for some health professionals. LEX 18's Claire Kopsky joins us. She has more now in this morning's Health Watch. Chris, good morning. This week's chicken pox conversation follows a lawsuit out of Northern Kentucky and statements from the governor. The lawsuit was filed by a family in Northern Kentucky against their health department. The father says he doesn't believe in the vaccine and now that's keeping their son out of school and off the basketball team. This all comes amid an outbreak of the virus at the school. Earlier this week, Governor Matt Bevan made some comments about chicken pox on a Bowling Green radio station. He said that all nine of his kids had the chicken pox on purpose. When their neighbor caught it, the governor and his wife brought their kids over to ensure they'd be exposed to it. He says they were miserable for a few days, but all turned out fine. Bevan says he believes children should be vaccinated if their parents are concerned about the chicken pox, but he doesn't think the government should mandate it. A local pediatrician disagrees, saying the symptoms alone will make you want to have the vaccine. So they start out as little red spots and then over five days um, you're covered with them and they've gone from red spots to little blisters to most of the time kids are scratching so much and that's where the infection comes in. Doctors say most people aren't aware that the chicken box can lead to serious complications including dangerous infections and pneumonia, symptoms that they say you won't be happy to have. Covering the news in Lexington from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom, Chris, back to you.